Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we're going to cover how to approximate values of logarithms when you are given two or sometimes even three individual values. So when we're given these values, log base three of two and log base three of seven, we have to rewrite our logarithm in terms of these logs over here and then we can simply substitute them with the numbers we know, we know that they are equal to and then that's how you get your answer. So suppose we have log base 3 of 7 over 2. Well, we know what log base 3 of 7 is, it's that over there, and we know what log base 3 of 2 is, it's right over there. So all we have to do is split this logarithm up and rewrite it in terms of these logarithms right here. Well, I'm sure uh, the majority of you are familiar with the logarithm rules of expansion and compression. So I will apply the rule of division. So when you have two numbers that are being divided in a logarithm, you simply subtract the two logarithms of those numbers. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this rule. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. But now you can see we rewrote this logarithm in terms of 7 and 2, which is the numbers we have here. So now we can replace log base 3 of 7 with 1.7712. We can replace log base 3 of 2 with 0 0.631. So now all you do is you plug this into a calculator, or you even do it by hand, and you find out what this logarithm is equal to. So it's a very neat trick just by rewriting logarithms. So let's go ahead and do log base 3 of 14. Well, in this case, we don't have a 7 and a 2 in the logarithm. So we need to rewrite 14 in terms of 7 and 2. Well, we know that 14 is simply equal to 7 times 2. And now we can use the rule of multiplication. And the rule of multiplication in logarithms, whenever you have multiplication, you can rewrite it as one log plus another log. And well, we know that the log base 3 of 7 is 1.7712, and log base 3 of 2 is 0 0.631. You add these up either in a calculator or by hand, and there's your answer. Now suppose we now have log base 3 of 18. This is where it gets tricky. Can you combine 7 and 2 to get 18? You can't. I mean yes you could do you can combine 7 and 2 with addition but we're not using addition here we're only using multiplication or division. No way you can combine 7 and 2. But log base 3 is what we're using, right? We also know that log base 3 of 3 equals 1. And we also know that log base 3 of 1 equals 0. This one isn't important. We're not going to use this one. but just want to show you guys the simple things we know about logarithms. This one is true because 3 to the power of 1 equals 3. So since we know this, not only can we use 2 and 7, but now we can also use 3. So if we know that now we can use 3, can we combine 2, 3, and or 7 to get 18? Well, 18 is equal to 3 times 3 times 2. So now we can use the rule of multiplication again and get log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of 2. And then we substitute log base 3 of 3 is 1, so 1 plus 1 plus point. 631 
And well, this one's easy to do. This is 2.631. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's do log base three equals, I'm sorry, not equals, but we're going to do log base three of two over three. Two over three. So once again, this is the vision. We use the logarithmic rule of the vision to split this up into log base three of two minus log base three of three. And we know the values of these already. This is simply 0 0.631 from here minus one from here. Then you plug this into a calculator we could do some mental math here, have a little fun. This is negative 0 0.369. So that is how you approximate values of logarithms when you are given certain values already. So hope you guys understood this. For additional ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and good luck with this.